Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we have some interesting news that would make you smile. Well, it's coming from the guys at Adobe. So, just recently, there is the event which is going on that is the Adobe Max. And within a time like this, they get to unveil a couple of new stuff, amazing, you know, piece of technology. And they made a couple of announcements that has to do with Photoshop 2020. There's also announcements for After Effects, announcements for, you know, Dimension and also Project Arrow. But there is one announcement that is actually putting a whole lot of smile on a lot of people's face. And that has to do with the Photoshop camera. Yeah. So the name exactly is what it is. So Photoshop camera is more like... Uh, an engineered AI software that will be built directly into your camera. So this is definitely going to be an app that will be running. And from what I understand, I think this is going to be the very first AI powered camera app that you would ever work with. I think if there is anyone out there, we probably don't know, but this is definitely going to be the first. Now you might be wondering what and what does this come with? Well, it comes with a couple of things. First and foremost, you are definitely getting the power of Photoshop directly baked into the camera, which is something that is crazy. And I think it is basically like one of the very first programmable software that you can use with your camera. So with the brand new Photoshop camera coming in 2020, you can capture, edit and also share your, you know, amazing, stunning pictures both natural and creative one using real-time photoshop grading and you can actually do a whole lot of magic directly with the viewfinder and because this tool is actually powered by the adobe sensei it kind of you know articulates and calculates and also understands what things like portraits are landscape you know selfies food and all those things so you once you just you know flip up your camera automatically there is some sort of behind the scene auto masking that is already in progress so this doesn't just end there it becomes even way interesting when the app begins to actually work because after they get these images that you've done you can now go inside there and kind of change the whole way that your scene works you can literally go in there and make uh change things like the sky you can also add a couple of effects that you want and to any object you throw onto your object like a sky maybe a point light or some sort of moon sun depending on what you want to work with it changes the way the image actually looks so your image is quite responsive to what these background images are how should i put this your image kind of responds to things around it so these things are ai powered but your image automatically begins to work alongside with it and a cool fun fact is you know once the ai has automatically figured out what the object is like i talked about earlier it doesn't matter if the object is a landscape or maybe a simple subject that you're taking a picture of or a human character you can go in there and make adjustments like bouquet, I mean, surrounding this. You can apply some sort of dynamic ranges directly on this. You can throw and kick in several creative objects inside. Now, the guys at Adobe are saying they would give creators the ability to create stunning things that you can work with. Just like, you know, for Instagram, Facebook has already created the AR Spark. Yeah, there's going to be a tool that you can use to create as many things that you want and you can actually import those things directly there and work with this for some reason i still think that the guys at adobe are pushing forward for project aero compared to any other app right now because amongst everything that they're talking about you definitely have a tied link to project aero one way or the other and if you want to test out this tool and you want to be one of the first people to get this tool and play with it of course you can actually go and register so that you become one of the early beds by going over to www photoshopcamera.com and apply for this link to that is going to be in the description so you can check this thing out i don't know you guys tell me what you think about this ai powered cameras are now coming in and yes you probably might have seen the whole animoji and you know the whole emoji thingy and probably seen the spark but i think this is going to be a huge game changer it's actually a thumbs up from me to the guys at adobe but let's see what happens with the subscription once this app comes out for now they're saying this tool is going to be free but then we don't know what is going to happen with the whole privacy thing and what could be said to be real and not so that's about it guys i would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section photoshop camera is a major thing that is coming out for next 
next year and i think a lot of people will have fun working with this are you following the adobe max tell me what you think about this in the comment section and if you like this video you know what to do go ahead and hit the like button and also turn on notification and if you're new here it's gonna be amazing if you can hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace